on sonar, new contact bearing. One, nine, four, designated Sierra, one. There you are. G'day ladies and gents, and welcome back to Cold Waters with Mags, and welcome back aboard the HMAS Rankin Collins Class Diesel Electric Submarine. And we are in the East China Sea. We are actually in position, hunting down a Chinese wolf pack that's been attacking shipping between South Korea and Japan. So let's see whether or not we can get an identification on exactly what it is we're hunting here. It should be a submarine. Although I don't think that is. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a merchant. Con sonar, Sierra one. Oh, it's is conditions in the water. I mean, 96 decibels, so it's a little loud. We are obviously we're back in the East China Sea, so we have the floor at just over 600 feet. It's not great. Really deep duct and layer. The layer is a 350 feet, basically. I don't think I've ever actually seen the layer be that far down and the duct be that broad. So this is a really weird one to actually engage in. Alright, so... Alright, best bet for the moment, let's get our total ray out. Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Two, three, Probably should have got the total ray a little sooner. Sierra two. Alright, Sierra 2, what are you? Yeah, this is looking more promising. So Ming. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is classified as submerged submarine. That is a Ming. Which direction? And it's heading in our direction. Alright. It's heading almost directly towards us. Estimated range. 27 kiloyards to target currently. Alright. Well, we're going to get a torpedo out early on this one. No sign of a second target at this point. Shoot 2-1. Aye, sir. And the target is in the same duct that we're in, at about the same depth. So I'm going to send the torpedo south. Actually, we'll turn it almost directly south, and then turn in on target. And we'll see how it goes from there. Hopefully, if there's anything else, we're, we're supposed to be hunting for a wolf pack, so there should be more than one submarine. We've only got one detected here alone. I'm assuming this isn't the target, or that there are targets here that we haven't seen yet. So hopefully this torpedo will actually stir up the rest of the Con, sonar, new contact bearing. Two, Speaking two, of which, one. Designated Sierra, three. Alright, this does look like a submarine contact as well. That is a lot closer. That is a lot closer. Ming is at 7.8 kiloyards. Bouncing. That could be a kilo. Con sonar, Sierra 3 is classified as right, this submerged might, submarine. This might be our target. Right, they are now moving east. I 
I'm not exactly sure where they are. I thought we had a bit of a thing up here going on, but now... Yeah, I'm gonna get this torpedo down in front of the Ming and turn in. 67% now, reading at 5.9 kiloyards. It's dropping in and out below the layer, okay. Kilo is reading at 4.3, just above. Alright, let's see what we can find here. Torpedo is about to go active. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. We have a target. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Counterfire, launching our own. Torpedo is tracking on target one. Con sonar, noisemaker bearing two, one, nine. Ming's location is confirmed. This is the kilo. All right, changing our depth. 450 feet. Four, five, zero feet, dive by. Come right to seven, four, helm I. Con sonar, Sierra three is cavitating. Kilo is confirmed. Con sonar, new contact bearing two, one, zero, designated Sierra four. Okay, that's interesting. Fourth target detected. Con sonar, noisemaker uh, bearing. Impact. Two, one, Kilo six. is out of play. Reloading tube one. Now, what is Sierra four? Sierra 4 is looking Con like a Sierra potential four second is classified mean. as submerged submarine. Now the Mings are basically deaf in this situation, uh, so less than 50 feet below the keel. Crap. Alright. Like 350 feet. Five, zero feet, dive by. Four percent on the second Ming at ten point five kiloyards. Need to get another torpedo off on that one, but I'm not sure exactly Con, where it is. Yet. Two Con helm, steady course. Alright, so the kilos torpedo has just gone active. Looks like it's running straight. Torpedo 3 is in the water. Now I'm going to swing that one around Con, 2. I'm going to head. Dive at three, five, zero, yeah, 2 eight, has dive acquired five. the Ming. Sonar, launch transient from Sierra 2. Yeah, counter fire to the north. That's fine. Torpedo 3, I'm going to swing across and down as well. And it's going to go for the second Ming. Hello, we're at 67% there Con, at the sonar, moment. Noisemaker bearing 2, 3, 2. 70. It actually may be further south. That may be a genuine location for that one. Con sonar, Sierra 2 is cavitating. Yeah, I don't think it's going to matter all that much for Sierra 2. Seventy-five percent. That counterfire is going straight north, so we're fine there. There's our torpedo coming in.
focused on auto guidance. Con sonar lost contact. Second target two. down. Last bearing two two six. Contact breaking up. All right, turning torpedo three. We're going to send it straight down past the wrecks. Yep, we have confirmed the type and distance to Sierra four. Ninety-five percent solution. Ten point five kilo yards running at five knots. Trying to slip away. So, a couple of old diesel electrics and a modern kilo. The kilo there is actually a really dangerous boat. We're lucky we caught that one. That is a nasty piece of kit. Easily the equivalent to what we're in, if not slightly better, at least in some aspects. Kilo is no joke. Transient from Sierra to Con Sonar launch transient from Sierra to Con Sonar launch transient from Sierra 5. Okay, we have another submarine. I'm actually going to turn and engage that one because I have not got any confirmation at all on what that is. We're going to go active. Sierra 5 is reading as another me? Con sonar, Sierra 5 is cavitating. Con sonar, Sierra 5 is classified as submerged submarine. Yep, we have another Ming. Jesus, how many of them did they send? I think this is definitely the target. Shoot tube 1, aye sir. Alright, tube 1 coming down, let's reload tube 2. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra five. Last All right. Bearing two, zero, Second me sunk. Contact breaking up. He got two torpedoes away, and we were not expecting it. The third Ming, which is Sierra four, is still in the water and running. So three Mings being led by a kilo. It's definitely Con the sonar, pack we're Sierra after, but it's an odd composition. We sunk so many Chinese submarines that they need to put together Mings as a wolf pack. Although I suppose when the target is just merchant shipping, then it's not like this is a car uh, this is a wolf pack that would be hunting down military vessels. It's hunting down merchant ships. Like that one there. I mean a modernized Ming with access to semi-modern torpedoes would get the job done. It's not a complicated job. Con, torpedo room. Two. All right, Sierra Four has detected our torpedo. Reload tube three and let number one go active. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, noisemaker, Fired bearing, tracking, countermeasure one, in the eight, water. zero. Con, fire control, weapon, countermeasure, homing. And we've lost signal on it slightly. We'll go active on torpedo one. We're far enough away. I want to make sure that we, uh, we don't have to mess around with this. There it is, Ming reacquired. It'll appear in our 3D view in just a second. There it is. Important to remind everybody again that things, submarines only appear and targets only appear on the 3D view like this when you have a 95% solution. Anything below 95, they do not appear. Con sonar, and their position on the map bearing. is One, not seven, reliable. Seven. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, torpedo room, tube three ready. Yeah, that's inside the countermeasures now. That's it. It's over. Con, sonar, lost contact. Sierra, four. Last bearing, one, seven, six. Contact breaking up. 
At the very least, the water here is somewhat shallow. If the crew was preparing with the torpedo incoming, there is a chance that if the concussion of the detonation didn't kill everybody instantly and didn't immediately breach every single compartment on the submarine at the same time, which is more than likely what would happen. In fact, Mark 48 hitting something like a Ming would split it in half, both sideways like, and long ways. It would just strip it. But on the off chance that they had breathing bladders, they had, they had inflatables, deployable inflatables on, they were ready for a breach, and they survived the explosion, and they got outside the hull and didn't get trapped inside of it, they might have survived. Maybe. They wouldn't be in any kind of good shape, but they might survive. That's a big maybe. So, after action report, three Mings and a Kilo, 10,280 tons put on the bottom. We have eight Mark 48s remaining, 41,120 experience received. Sorry, I had to adjust my eye there. Mission update. Very pleased to see that you dealt with these subs with Determination and Resolve, Commander. Remember that for every enemy vessel we take out, it means a safer transit for all of our troops and transports. Good work. Stand by for additional orders. So that was our target. That's a really weird composi composition. Although, as I said, it makes sense providing you're not expecting those submarines to engage anything except, you know, surface container ships and merchants. Deploying a, a wolf pack of Mings against any kind of modern military vessel is feeding four kills to those military vessels. It's, it's not something you would do. The ki a, a pack of four kilos? A nah, different story. But yeah, I, I suppose the Mings would make sense if you're just uh, sending them out to hunt container ships with the kilo operating as the lead of the pack or the alpha of the pack with its, um, its goal to be to engage anything that might be able to shoot back. I guess? It's not how I would do it, but it depends on what resources you've got available. Convoys protected. Incidents involving attacks on convoys by hostile submarines in and around the East China Sea have rapidly diminished. That's been happening a lot recently. An anonymous spokesperson suggested that increased US submarine operations, Australian submarine operations in the area, are a contributing factor. However, the Pentagon has refused to comment on current operations. Yeah, because I'd have to admit that it's not them doing it. Without the threat of the attack from submarines, Trans-Pacific crossings have become more efficient and suffering less losses. If this improved influx of supplies and war materials can be sustained, US forces will be in a position to secure the South China Sea region. Yeah, well, make makes sense. Logistics wins wars. All right, so our next mission. Intelligence data indicates enemy plans for an amphibious landing in the Scarsborough Shoal, South China Sea. Task force with landing ships is leaving... Oh, Quindow, now we need to head back to... Yeah, we're going to have to head back to Guam and resupply. If this is a decent landing size, eight torpedoes isn't going to be enough. And it's entirely possible it will be a large task force. Alright, so it looks like we're heading back to Guam, and then we're going to be cutting across to the South China Sea and seeing whether or not we can intercept the enemy there. Anyways, ladies and gents, that will be in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this one, and thank you very much for watching. Cold Waters will be returning as it does every week, and until next time, remember to click that like button if you did, share and subscribe if you want to see more, and as always, take care.